Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and hygienic gnomes. I am Speedyard, and this is Just Cause 2. And right now, I'm showing you what this game is really about. Did you think this was about the story? Or the gameplay? Or, I don't know, some sort of purpose like fighting evil? No. This is about driving vehicles off the sides of mountains, particularly ice cream trucks, and watching them spiral down the sides of them. I can't really think of anything better to do with my time than this right here. But in all seriousness, it's about fighting evil. Now, think about what we're doing right here. We just drove an ice cream truck off the top of a mountain, spiraling down towards our seeming death, and right into the middle of a military base, we stole a helicopter, we turned on the high-speed motion, and now we're going, well, to the location of our next mission. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love a game that lets me have this sort of freedom. Look what we're doing. We're just going all over the place, just taking one vehicle after another, one mode of transportation after another, and that's fantastic. Let's park right here in the middle of the highway. That sounds like a great idea. I love the way movement works in this game. You don't run somewhere, you don't walk somewhere. You just shoot your grappling hook at things and parachute all over the place. It's crazy and fun. <laughs> now then. Thing will be riding in a limousine, as you'd expect. Hijack the limousine and bring him to yes. me. The Reapers want us to go find a incorruptible politician so that Kay can deal with his incorruptibleness, so to speak. Sort of makes me kind of nervous, since, you know, him being incorruptible should make him one of my guys, right? Well, fortunately, I do my research, as I've mentioned before, and I have verified that he is, in fact, a politician. They're right, he is a politician. Therefore, we can be certain we are not actually harming anyone who is innocent. So, we are okay. We're in the clear. Truly extraordinary. Now, deliver Tang to a safe house. There we'll see how much of a spine he really has. I will not be treated like this! Stop the car immediately! That motorcyclist was breaking the speed limit, I'll have you know. Stop this car and let me go! You do not know who you are messing with here! Mr. Fang. Either you come with me willingly, or I cut off your hands and bitch slap you with them all the way to where we're going. You know, driving straight really isn't working out. Let's just go backwards. I think this will work out really well. Managing pretty well. Look at this. Also, isn't it strange that Thang is threatening us like that while, you know, we're driving this way? He should really get his priorities straight, because... He should probably be more concerned about surviving the trip to get tortured than he should be actually be about actually getting tortured. Yeah. Oh shoot. <laughs> well, don't worry. I can fix this. I just hope the police don't catch up with us. Oh, there they are, punctual as always. Well, if Thang will just hurry up and get back in here so I can deliver him to his doom, we can get on a move on and get on out of here. You know, driving a limousine through a field of rocks is nowhere near as difficult as the time I drove that monster truck through a minefield. Watch where you're going. You know, I think it might be best if we just stayed on the road for now. And drove straight. That might work out a little better. And what you, my friends, have just witnessed is one of the more infamous examples of Panawan ingenuity. Homemade nitroglycerin-fueled motorcycles. A thousand miles to a gallon explodes on contact. I have to say, thus far, <laughs> this has been one of the more eventful emissions we've done. <laughs> oh good, another one of those instantaneous roadblocks. I always like when you can rush through an instantaneous roadblock and take down a corrupt policeman with you. It brings a warm feeling to my heart, you see. In the distance there, you can see our destination. Generally, I think there's a specific path they want you to take. If I had tried to take that other road, I don't think it would have worked out correctly. If you're not careful, you could end up in a really miserable situation where you end up driving all over the place just trying to get where you're trying to go. and You end up just restarting the mission because it gets so, well, irritating. 
Most of the time, however, it's pretty clear where you need to go, and they put together the sequence very well. You, you're unlikely to get sidetracked, so to speak. I have played missions, though, where me and the person I was trying to escort had to walk on foot the rest of the distance because I didn't quite realize that you could actually get them to get into another vehicle with you. <laughs> and yes, I almost went past where we were supposed to turn. And that would have been exactly the sort of situation I was talking about. And I wish those people would drive on the right side of the road. Huh. Also, we are going extremely fast. Don't worry. I know how to turn a limo on a dime. And I just find it so wonderfully comical how they just fly out of nowhere. <laughs> I think that's great. We're only 300 meters away. Also, pedestrian! Got him. Okay. This is then for you, Mr. Thang. You will pay for your crimes as a politician. Due to the unfortunate possibility in dealing with communists of becoming a communist legend, I try to avoid using my real name. Although my work here may require me to deal with some unsavory people, there is no need for me to sully my good name. Very well then. Next time, we deal with the roaches. Who knows what nefarious scheme they may desire for us to become involved in. I don't know. But I'm ready for it. And I will see you there.